we're very pleased to host the exhibition of Giulio Turcato at the Casa Italiana Zerilli Marimont. He was here the first time in New York in 1960, where he met several friends. And then he came back again in 1978, and he had an exhibition at the Italian Culture Institute. my uncle and so as children he was the one person who sort of would play with us more than the adults. He was he still had a very sort of childlike approach in a way and I have really good memories of him. He, he died when I was 18 years old. I was surrounded by his paintings as a child and as a teenager and always intrigued by them. At the same time it's not as though we spoke about it very much in the family and so there was a kind of mystery around his figure. He took part at 1948 at the first Venice Biennale and uh, he uh, formed the group perform with uh, Accardi, Consagra e Durazio and in fact the Casa Italiana already did some exhibition of some of his artists. Giulio Turcato's position after the Second World War is I think one of the most interesting because he was in the resistance and he joined the uh, Italian Communist Party. He was very much part of that generation that was torn ideologically between trying to go more abstract expressionist, uh, following in a way in an American um, genre and then having to follow the diktats of the, of the Italian Communist Party and the socialist realist style. So those first 10 years until 1956 when he then tore up his communist membership card are really interesting to see in the way that he managed these styles between the figurative and the abstract and how he had moments when he went more abstract and moments when he went more figurative. Until then in the 60s when you have um, a, a painting like this where he's obviously kind of lifted off into a completely abstract realm. That's one of the earlier pieces, but it's one of the ones where he put together both this idea of a fake currency and the, the, the female genitalia in this very kind of uh, odd juxtaposition, which I think comes out a lot more in his drawings. And I find that this show brings that out a lot in a way that hasn't been done before, because his drawings have never really been much of a focus for individual shows and they have that spontaneous quality and something a lot more sort of intimate about them which comes out in some of these more erotic kind of drawings. He was an extraordinary person, a great artist, a little bit forgotten now in Italy but there is a great revival of him and uh, he was even traveling when going to see his exhibition abroad. He was traveling with his luggage, with all his utensils to give the last brushes to his paintings. So he was really loved paints and that was all his, all his life. Mm -hmm. 